Okay! Ooh. Ronaldo, I have a very important question to ask you right now. What is it? Who is the greatest footballer to ever exist? Are you seriously asking me that? The greatest football player is obviously me. That's what I'm talking about. That's facts though, right? Break it down for me. Why are you the greatest football? Break it down. Break it down for me. Firstly, I have won five Ballon d'Or awards, which is more than any other player in history. I've also scored, and wait, on top wait, of that, multiple wait. trophies with both club and country, including Champions League titles. There you have it. That's why I'm the greatest footballer. Wait, but doesn't Messi have more Ballon d'Ors than you? That's where you're wrong. Football is more than just individual awards. It's about team achievements and oh! consistency over a long period of time. Oh! And on those metrics, I am clearly ahead. Have you not been watching our matches? Of course I have. Let me talk to Messi. I'm going to get back to you. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Camera, Wawa. What? Camera wall? Messi, I have a very important question to ask. Who is the greatest footballer that has ever existed? I think Ronaldinho was the most skillful player ever, but many people will say Maradona, Pele or Cristiano Ronaldo. No, not many people. I want your opinion. You! Okay, okay. I think Pele was the best ever and Cristiano Ronaldo right behind him. Humble king. Why are you so humble? Why aren't you saying yourself? Because I am not the best ever, obviously. I mean, I'm good, one of the best, but there were better players than me. You see, bro, you see, he gets in my brain. Now, now he makes me feel bad. Now, nah, I think he's a bit great. You see what people think? Anyone's gonna be like, oh yeah, he's the best. Oh, no, this isn't okay. I gotta start some beef. Ronaldo, who is your top two greatest players of all time? Tell me right now. That's a difficult question. But if I had to choose, I'd say that my top two greatest players of all time are Pele and Diego Maradona. Okay, but you just said you were the greatest player. So I suppose if I have to include myself, then I'd say that my top two great greatest players of all time are myself and Lionel Messi. He's a fantastic player and has achieved many great things in his career. He's definitely up there with me. Wow! That's so, that's amazing to I'm gonna be right back. Uh, Ronaldo called you a called you a little bitch and he said he hates you and he said you are not top 10. I don't care what he says, he's just uh, jealous of my success. And I don't care what he thinks, I know I am a top 10 player of all time. Wow! Okay, so what do you have to say back to him after he called you a little that's what he said. He said that. Cristiano Ronaldo is just jealous and insecure that I have surpassed him in many ways on the field. Yo, you won't believe what Messi just said about you. Okay, I'm waiting. He said that you suck and you're washed. And he also said he has more Ballon d'Ors than you and he has a World Cup. If it was me, I'm doing that. First of all, I respect Messi as a great player. However, I have more Ballon d'Ors, more goals, more assists, more trophies and a better international goal record than him. And remember, winning a World Cup is a team achievement, not an individual one. N so you don't have more? You are mistaken. I have five Ballon d'Ors and he has seven. I was incorrect before. You are right. Yeah. Messi has eight Ballon d'Ors and I have what five. I, that's literally what but I... Let me what do you got to say back? I don't need to resort to insults. Oh! I have proved time and time again on the pitch that I am one of the best players of all time. I think sometimes in the life I'm too competitive, you know, I'm too competitive. I want to show in the football. <laughs> I understand you. Messi? Ronaldo, your washed up player can't handle the fact that I'm better than you. You're not even in the same league as me. Your ego is bigger than your talent and your jealousy is obvious to everyone. You can keep talking all you want, but at the end of the day, I'm the goat and you're just a nobody. Cristiano. Yes, I'm here. Messi said that your ego surpasses your skill. And he said that you're not the best and he's the best. Messi saying that my ego surpasses my skill. Huh? That's rich coming from someone who relies on his teammates and a referee is to win. I've built my legendary career on my skills and work ethic and I've proven it time and time again. And as for being the best, let's look at the stats, shall we? Oh no, wait. Leo, Leo, he went crazy. You know what he said? You know what he said? What did he say? He said, you're wrong. He says you're not even that good. He said you rely on referees and teammates, rigged games. I forgot the other he said, but it was crazy as well. What do you have to say back to him? Ronaldo, if you think I rely on referees and teammates to win games, you're just blind to the reality. I work hard on the field, score goals and, and make plays while you just run your mouth and make excuses. You're just jealous that I'm better than you and you can't handle that fact. Wow. Ronaldo, you're just a sad, pathetic excuse for a footballer. You have no skill, no talent, and no heart. You're just a puppet, controlled by your ego and your bank account. You can't even play a day at the level I do, and you never will. So why don't you just shut up and retire already? 
because no one wants to see your washed up ass on the field anymore. Ah! You got cooked. You just got cooked. He said your ego is bigger than your bank account. Yeah. Let me remind him yeah. that my net worth is in the hundreds of millions and my endorsement deals alone are worth more than his career earnings. Uh -oh. And as for him being far superior, that's just laughable. Yes, he's a talented player, but he's had the benefit of playing with playing with some of the best teams and, and teammates in the world. He's never had to carry a team like I have oh. or overcome the challenges I have. Oh. Just look at my career oh. and you'll see who the true GOAT is. Oh my God. He basically says you were born into good teams and you've never had to struggle with a mediocre or bad team. You know what? Let, let's, let's, why are we beefing? Why are we even beefing? What is the point? What is the point? Okay, you're right. This beefing is pointless and immature. I'm sorry for my heated words, Cristiano. Maybe we can just put our differences aside and focus on enjoying the beauty of football. Okay, I'm gonna tell him that. I'm gonna tell him that. Leo made, made a, a truce. He said, you know, maybe you guys can put your differences aside and just focus on the beautiful game, you know. And he, he wants to apologize for the arguing, and I hope you can do that too. Um, I think you're both the goats. In the heat of the competition, it's easy for passions and emotions to flare up. But at the end of the day, we're all just players who love the beautiful game. We may have our differences, but we also share a deep respect and admiration for each other. And to have been able to compete against each other for so long, so let's focus on that and let the fans enjoy the magic we create on the field <laughs> amazing man so can i um can i get like tickets to the next world cup or like your next game you know what i'm saying you know, hang out with you no absolutely not I, I don't give tickets away to just anyone and i certainly wouldn't give them to someone who asks so rudely what? just mind your manners next time buddy what the f so um since everything's good you know what i'm saying um you know, who's that guy? You know what I'm saying? Let me get let me get some tickets to the next World Cup, see your next game, you know what I'm saying? Hang out, you know, what you what you say, bro? No, I can't give you any tickets. The World Cup is an event for athletes, not for guys who try to start drama for YouTube views. Ah! You should really try to do something more productive with your time instead of trying to create a fake beef between players. So can I get tickets to the next World Cup, Mbappe? What you say, Kilian? Hell no, you can't get tickets for the World Cup. Forget about it. I'm not getting you a ticket to the World Cup. Well, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. <laughs>